Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Public News' podcast. Uh, special night tonight. Um, you know, uh, TL covering Tool. And uh, the 2L. 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 I was in TL. Uh, sorry, 2L. 2L. So, uh, yeah, I remember uh, reaching out to you guys because, you know, obviously Tool is my favorite band. Uh, I love Tool. Uh, I mean, I've uh, probably seen them over 70 times at least. You know? So was your, your, your Benz out there with the Tool logo on yeah. the back? Yeah, that's you. Okay. Yeah. That's a dead yeah, the Tool logo here. Everywhere is Tool. Right? The yeah, the Maynard. So, uh, the Maynard and the, yeah. Yeah, like behind, behind the, uh, the hostess far. stand, it says uh, Shine On Forever from Jombie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, they're, nice. They'll see them there everywhere, little little parts of it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Tool's been a huge part of my life, man. So, uh, you know, introduce yourself, guys. Introduce yourself. Go ahead. Start with Todd. I, well, let's, let's go down, down the line. Start with Todd. So Todd Mitchell, I'm the fake Justin Chancellor of the band and uh, the newest fan of Tool in the band. I actually didn't become a fan of the band until Fear and Oculum came out. And then I was like, okay, I really oh, get really? it now. Yep. Uh, Bryce Monaco, and uh, I am the real Maynard James Keenan. He's just pretending. Uh, it's been for a long time. So, yeah, he does a little bit better than me, so I, I give him some slack. <laughs> What's up? I'm Taylor Planbeck. I play guitar. Um, I'm the Adam Jones of the band, I guess. Um, I don't play a Les Paul, though. Sorry. Not sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Unforgivable. Um, Let's see. Yeah, fan of Tool. Um, I'm kind of on the younger side, so I guess I got into them 10,000 days, which would have been a long time ago now. But, um, yeah, Uh, I got into them more with Fear Inoculum, and I've seen them a bunch, multiple times on every kind of the last few tours. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Dave Rivera. I'm the drummer. Um, I've been a fan since about, gosh, I think it was the second Lollapalooza. Saw him at Irwindale Dam in Azusa. And uh, Rage Against the Machine opened it, and they blew my doors away. And just been kind of chasing them ever since. Um, Yeah, it's good stuff. You know, I don't think I've seen a better live show. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. I've seen a lot of shows, but this is just on another level. I've never seen them in, in, uh, in Baltimore in a small place like this. It was, mm. it was fantastic, you know, the Hammerjack, but it's gone now. But I remember when I was driving in Vegas, I, I think I was 19 or 20 years old, and I heard Sober on the radio. And I actually pulled over. I was like, fuck yeah, they're playing fucking cool the radio. <laughs> right? You're fucking kidding me. I was like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You know? Oh, I was fucking loving it, man. But, uh, you know, uh, so, so how did you guys get together? How, how did you how did you this all is a great. To, to this meet? is really a great story. Yeah. So Dave was the dental hygienist for my wife and they were talking well I don't know how she talked to him because he had his cleaning tools in her mouth but he, they were talking about music and doing stuff and at the time I was playing drums in a band with Bryce Bryce was a singer we were doing a, an original project and so for a while we were you know everything was fine then the pandemic hit we couldn't our band couldn't play I picked up bass that's when I started working you know playing bass and then uh, then Dave hit me up through he'd seen an ad, and uh, on I think v- Ventura Rocks, and uh, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this is. And I asked my wife on the couch, I'm like, is this the guy who's your dental hygienist who reached out, <laughs> wants to play Tool music? And I'm like, I don't know, but you know, I know Bryce loves it, and the original project was on the rocks, so uh, Dave was already jamming with Taylor, and I'm like, Bryce, I'm like. I don't know, and, and Bryce was like, you know, I'm tired of playing at 11:30 at night to, you know, nobody, yeah. uh, because you know the original scene isn't what it is, what it was in Ventura, and so we uh, gave it a stab, and we actually had to talk these two guys into like really making a go for it. But when we played with them, we're like, oh, well, this could be really, really good. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. We're better than the Garage. <laughs> yeah, we um. <laughs> The, it kind of first started with Dave and I. This would have been like maybe three years ago now. Him and I. It's met. actually been like five. Maybe five. Okay. Um, going back pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we started just him and I um, in his garage, and it was really casual. We ended up linking up with this other guy. I think he lived in Ojai, um, and he uh, he played bass, but he also tried singing at the same time. So it was actually just a three-piece doing tool. Um, we never really got anywhere with that. Um, pandemic hit, and that kind of like put a pause on that. And so it's kind of like the two yeah. pairs here yeah. uh, that link together. And then, yeah, I feel like kind of right away, maybe the first jam or two, it was like, okay, this could like 
there's enough here that we can hone this to where it's like good enough to to play out somewhere um so yeah that's kind of how that that's cool that. yeah that's cool yeah yeah that's dan so uh you know where, where can people find your you know your oh because they, this is they're gonna see this uh you know live to watch the the, the podcast and they're, you know you know you guys have a website where people go to see your upcoming shows or you know how, how do people find your music and, and where you're gonna be playing at yeah 2l the number 2l instagram facebook we're covering it all, you know, throwing a lot yeah. of stuff out there. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of good uh, posters, a lot of artwork, um, you know, creative stuff going on there. You guys have any tool tattoos? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Temporary ones. <laughs> not <here>. yet. <laughs> I think Temporary about ones having idea. Danny Carey sign my ass and then going and inking it. You know, he's he's playing at the Grape tonight, and I've been tagging on posts. Well, it like, could Danny, happen. Get down it could happen. Come on and sit in with us for a song. Yeah, I just, it's funny because you know, I saw them about six times the last tour and the, they had their last show in Vegas before they went uh, back uh, to uh, England or wherever. He did a crazy, uh, the, the solo, because usually he just gets out, but he came out looking like he was naked. You know, and he had yeah, the suit on. Yeah, I saw, you know, yeah, he did the same in like, ours. <laughs> he did, grabs it, grabs the big hug, hugs it. You didn't want to turn around and shit. And <laughs> they had that kaleidoscope thing. And it looked like he's got his dick like, hanging out like that. He actually out. got that from me. Good. Like, I I come yeah. out uh, on our on some shows in a, you know, skin-tight muscle outfit. And I was doing that before he did. So, yeah. Looks, so yeah. It looks surprisingly similar. And it's yeah. Like, yeah. We do have video evidence that Bryce did it first. Yeah, I, saw, I saw the video you wearing that. I was like, man, I see a lot of chicks at the, at the tool shows wearing that. But I ain't seen a dude wearing it yet. But hey, it's fucking tool. Do what you got to do. You know? He's not allowed to wear that if his wife isn't in the crowd. <laughs> That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So but on the, the uh, Undertow album, the, the first one in uh, uh, Tolerance. So I have... I kind of made a tattoo out of that, cause of that and then the uh, song Bottom when Henry Rollins is singing, mm -hmm. Naked and Fearless, so it says, Intolerance Keeps Me Naked and Fearless. Mm -hmm. and I got that tat tat yeah, tattooed nice. down my back. So. Nice. Yeah. nice. But no, man, I, I, everything about Tool, man, is, you know, just like, you know, when you're, when you're watching them and it's just, it's amazing. It just it takes you, you know, to different places and, you know, they're just watching Danny Carey alone. I mean, good luck tonight, bro. You got, you know, I don't know. It's just that, watching him be just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fifteen you know, the musicianship is insane, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And just watching them adapt and change over the course of their career, going from you know just a bunch of really angry young men to you know like, ooh, let's like you know talk about like metaphysical like existence and the deeper oh, yeah. meaning of reality. Oh, yeah. Like, you, not a lot of bands cover that amount of topical range throughout their careers it's pretty impressive and they still still do that shit to, to piss you off you know like you know all the shows i go to and i can't hear you know tempest you know it's my favorite song on that mm -hmm. album but then it was they won't play it you know so it's like they just tease you you know what i mean and yeah. then they'll yeah. throw in some but go, well, so that's why we play prison sex because you can't see that at the real band so we better do it yeah yep. yeah oh, they just will sex. not play that anymore no no oh. i guess oh, they just God. played the bowl Tool came out for that gig. Yeah, for uh, Sasanta Maynard's. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know what. Song yeah, Tool came out. Yeah. Threw it down. I think it was just one they played Anima. I think. Yeah. So favorite Tool song. For me, Numa. Even though we uh, we only play a part of it, it's not on our set list tonight. But uh, that's probably that's the one that got me like, oh, okay, I have been not into, not really listening to this band, right? But I think my favorite is for sure to play is The Grudge. Yeah. Does Bryce, you hit the scream? Can you hit that? Yeah. He can. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. Got 28 Fuck seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like 20 of the 28. <laughs> it's 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 a challenging vocal to emulate. I will I will say that. Like every every song is challenging. Uh, my personal favorite um, is a Hooker with a Penis. So I think there's more fuck words in that per capita. Per, per word than any other, so that that always like pushes it to the top for me. So it was funny that I was talking about. I named my daughter Reagan, and uh, in that song, it goes "fuck you, Reagan." <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that, sweetheart. You know, what I mean? <laughs> it's not that. It's not. It's not you. It's another one. That's funny. You're named after a president. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. Uh, they have a joke. They think my favorite song is "The Grudge" because I will never not want to play that song even if we've already 
played it ten times that practice. I'll do the grudge, probably the pot too. The pot's just like a banger, like nice and short and sweet. Maynard's vocal yeah. melody there is yeah. just sick. Um, the bass line's groovy, so yeah, it's a fun one. We'll play that. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of. You, you said that we think, but that obviously you're not your actual favorite. <laughs> no, right in two. You pot. you've been pushing for us to learn right in two. Oh, yeah. that's uh, by far. I don't know. Descending. Yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of close. I'd say the grudge and the pot. Yeah. Grudge pot. I'm, kind of, I'm with you on that, those two. Yeah. I'd have to say, that, you know, that, that, that I list them I, I, all, every day, all the time, but I, I write in two is probably my favorite song. It grew on me and grew on me, and just the more you listen to that song, it's just, it's just so simplistic how it just goes over, you know, mankind from beginning to now, you know, and yeah. the, but in that little drum solo and the way they just bring that in, it's just like, yeah, the heavy part car, of the like, end fucking, is yes, fucking you know? yeah. <laughs> It's so good, man. Yeah, and yeah, that, that. They played that live, I, I got to see that live, and uh, man, I could, I was mesmerized, I was watching them play, and it had that monkey, you know, in the, in the, on the back of the screen, and it yeah. kept changing its face, and fully, you know, his body mm. just dissipated away, it was just like, incredible, you know, it's incredible, I, yeah. Oh. Yeah, their visuals are, are out, out yeah. of this world. That is something we're looking to, yeah. Uh, start to incorporate more yeah. uh, to try and get that element more involved with uh, with our live show. Yeah, so, and I, you know it's, it's crazy because when you go see their shows, you know I try to sit somewhere different every time. You know, like I'll sit in the top, in the very back, so you can take in everything. You know, and then I was, when I flew to Oregon, I was in the front row. You know, the front row, you miss all these yep. lasers and everything, but you can see the look on Maynard's face. You yep. know, you're right there, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've only yeah. I've only seen the line like, hey, one the time. And Danny it was in like the this. sixth row, and I remember after the show, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was surprised it wasn't more visually engaging. And the people who we went with, who were way in the back, were like that was the best, like video, like show I've ever seen in my life. What are you talking about? So, yeah, it definitely varies depending on where you're sitting. Yeah, they had that. Uh, maybe the tour before this one, they had that like kind of. They hung these kind of strings of yarn almost, and then mm-hmm. wrapped around the stage so they oh, could yeah. project a video yeah. onto it. Yeah. The first when you're right up did, front, it, you miss it. You miss it. Yeah. You don't get yeah. the sense of it, and really, it's just kind of blocking your view of like the play they're playing right there. And the um, from far back, you get the sense of scale, and like they're almost inside the video in a cool way. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think really interesting too when you watch them is how different they each of them are in terms of reacting to each other like adam is almost like in his own world like he's like i don't need to look at anybody yeah. and justin is like constantly engaging visually particularly with uh you know danny and is like like we're locked we're good and it's, and it's like it's so interesting how they have this very different way to interact with each other and of course you know maynard's moved throughout different places and yeah, he just disappears for like 30 minutes yeah. you know he goes take yeah. a break plays, and plays yeah. operation yeah. In the, yeah. under the yeah. stage and <laughs> adam's a dick man he's like he gets we were in oregon you know it's, it's, it's guitar wasn't looking right and he was fucking pissed because we were right there he's yelling at his crew and his crew's like oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's like fucking yelling at him and shit and he was fucking pissed you know? damn. He's like damn those guys yeah, i remember seeing him break fired. a string like on the first song actually yeah you remember that? Yeah, yeah i remember that he he was yeah. playing a flying V, though, so that's why. Yeah. You know what I didn't that's realize? I, don't I didn't realize when uh, he does that voice box. You know where he's talk box. Yeah, talk box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I didn't realize you did that. And I also looked up. I was like, he's right in front of me, right there. I was like, what the fuck is that? He was like, Ooh. I was like, fuck it. No, I had no yeah, idea. All these years, that, that's yeah. where yeah. it came from. It was like, you know. And then, we have one of those. We just haven't put it in our set yet. <laughs> one of the talk boxes. It's a really cool effect. Right. Yeah, and he's got the light that comes out of his mouth and the whole thing. And you're just like, God damn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, hey, man, you know, I, I'm excited to have you guys here, you know, and, uh, you know, looking forward to, uh, you yeah, know, watching you, you guys. Thank you for having us. Yeah, man, thank you. So. Absolutely. Thank but, you. Yeah, Absolutely. so it's Absolutely. 2L, 2L. 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 As in, like, yes, if you said it really fast, it'd be. Tool. <laughs> there you go. It would be uh, Tool. Or hey. if you change the spelling, T W O L. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to to, uh, to seeing you guys, man, and uh, I hope we do it justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. hope so. We've got the Oxnard crowd, the Nardcore in here, so yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it, 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 it was funny, you know, it's like you know, because you were telling you earlier, you know, your dental hygienist for this stuff, but you know, because we got a lot of the punk scene here. Yeah. And you know, so you know, these guys come in, 
I gotta go home. Dude. I got surgery at like six thirty in the morning. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Back yeah. in the day, you know, there were punkers are still punkers, but you know now they're surgeons. You know, so it's, punkers it's, and surgeons. It's funny how you know the rock and roll man stays with you and you know keeps you young, keeps you alive. And yeah, dental hygienist by day. Yeah. Right. Danny Carey by night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Gotta do something. Pay his bills. Hell yeah, man, but you still gotta do something to keep you alive, man. Have fun. So. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. It's all about balance. Well, hey, thank you guys so much for coming, and thank I look you, forward man. to your show, man. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Thank you, man. Right, hey, two L. All right, guys, have a good one. Talk to you soon. All right.